You know what, I'm just going to start this video off showing you my Raspberry Pi 4 running an actual video conference. Here we are in the Linux Gamecast pre-show. We're running two rooms, two participants, all at 720p 30. The system loads around 23% and it's using about 900 megabytes of RAM. So I want you to feel free to extrapolate. So what is Jitsi? It's open source video conferencing software that you can host at home. And you don't need a big honking server to do it. Just a Raspberry Pi and a couple of other things. Things like broadband internet connection, a router capable of port forwarding, fully qualified domain name dot something, a Raspberry Pi 4, 2, 4, or 8 gig, and of course an SD card. You're also going to need the IP number digits from your modem, router, and Raspberry Pi. But the first thing we need to do is download and install the Raspberry Pi imager. We want to launch that, select Raspberry Pi OS Lite. That's what we're going to be using for the operating system. Select your storage device and let's smash that cog button. Because we need to enable SSH, enter a username and password, and give it a time zone if you're feeling fancy. And now we can ride that image. Now once that's done, we need to mount the rootfs partition. So we're going to head over to the etc directory and we're going to open a terminal. Now from here, we need to edit a file called dhcpcd.conf and give the Pi a static IP address. So we can find it. Static IP address is going to be your Raspberry Pi's IP address, routers, IP address of your router, and domain name servers. You know, Cloudflare, Google, salt the taste on this one. Save the file and now it's time to pop the SD card into your Pi, plug it into the network, power it up. Now we're gonna SSH into the Pi and update all the things. Set a root password and edit the no password file to tell it to, you know, require a password. And then we're gonna give the Pi a reboot, but only after we enter our password. Back from the reboot, it's time to install the uncomplicated firewall and tell it what ports to allow. It's probably a good idea to cut it on. We'll do a quick check to see that it's running and let's forward some ports. These are the five ports that you need to tell your router to forward to your Raspberry Pi. On my Microtech router, I can add the rules like so, and once everything's done, it should look something like this. On Unify routers, I believe the forwarding chain is clown, two monies, a school bus, a drooly face. Anyway, let me know in the comments. For everybody else, I want you to hold your router in front of your eye holes and pay close attention to the moon glyphs printed on the case. Because legend has it, that word, followed by port forwarding, will provide answers if typed into a search engine. And since we're doing the networking, now's a good time to configure your domain name. Point the name record to your public IP address and configure a CNAME with some meat. Back on the Pi, we need to set our host name and edit the host file. I'm going to change the local host to Jitsi and add another record with my public IP address, followed by our domain name. Let's give that a save. Now we're going to download the Jitsi repo key and install it and remove the download key from our home directory. Now we're going to create a blank Jitsi stable.list and paste the repo information in and give that a save. Run a sudo apt update and we're ready to install Jitsi. Now Jitsi likes to break without notice. So I'm telling app to install a known working version. Full guide in the video description. You're going to be prompted to set up an SSL cert. So we want to make sure we select let's encrypt. We need to give it an email address, say nay to telephoto and let it finish up. Now we need to edit the co-turn and tell it not to start until after the network interface is ready. We're gonna give that a save. Up next is the Prosody config. Here we do a search for authentication because we need to replace Jitsi Anonymous with internal hashed. So let's save that. Now create a SIPCOM file and fill it in with your server info. Once that's done, we need to set up usernames and passwords for all of our users. To do that, we're gonna give Prosody a username, tell it the site, and toss in some password digits. Now give Jitsi Services a restart, and let's try it out. Hey, there I am. Neat. So what about running Jitsi on other single board computers? Well, I can help you out with any device on this list. Feel free to leave questions in the comments. But at the end of the day, the Raspberry 4 makes a solid Jitsi server for two to six people if all you need to do is host a video conference. If you plan on doing recording, live streaming, telephoto, yeah. Look elsewhere. I've been using it for the past couple of weeks for our shows, and it's been perfectly stable. In fact, you can see it in action over at linuxgamecast.com. And while you're there, check out some of the other nonsense that we get up to each and every week. That's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe, and all the YouTuber-like things I'm supposed to say at the end of the video. And a big thanks to our patrons flying by on screen right now, making this possible. See you next time.